Boys and girls, cats and squirrels, welcome back to Call of Duty MW3, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm buying into this game right now really hard. Uh, it's kind of weird to say, but like, everything about this game right now, I'm kind of just enjoying, and yeah, it's fun. So if you guys enjoy the video here as we check out MEAT 24-7 Hardcore, uh, make sure to like, sub, leave a comment down below, and as always, don't forget to be a goat, and let's get into it. Uh, so let, we're looking at the battle pass here and something that they did cool here that I want to recognize is that they added zombies acquisitions into the battle pass and I think that's actually a really good thing for the zombies community because personally I am first a zombies player and then a multiplayer guy but I do both a lot of both right now I'm grinding interstellar first as you can see by my camo progress here. I am uh, 21 out of 36 forge camos to get priceless. But the fact that they're recognizing how big the zombies community is by giving us like stuff in the battle pass, I understand that it's like the battle pass itself is a bad system. It just is. But the fact that they're just recognizing how successful and how strong the zombies community is by giving us rewards by like for playing the game other than like just content like additional you know battle pass content i think it's a trash system yes but like it's actually so good for the game in my opinion and so good for the like state of cod because i think what that allows us to do is just like they know that we're gonna be giving them a lot oh please don't get me Oh, a lot of their player base as the zombies community. And so we can just sit here and say, thank you for the rewards. Thank you for recognizing what we're doing for your game. Thank you for at least giving us content because it had been three years since, two or three years since we got an actual zombies mode. If you count Vanguard, it had been two. If you don't, which I don't because um, that was not zombies. That was... Uh, I'm not going to say what I think it was, uh, but it was worse than anything I'd ever played, and I played it. I didn't make videos on anything at the time, but man, that was a terrible time for anyone who was trying to make any content on the game, or even just enjoy the game in general. The vibe around the community and everything was just terrible. I went from Call of Duty Cold War with a great community on the multiplayer side, the zombie side, everything was great. It felt awesome. I'm playing terrible right now, so trying to get gold here on this bass b you'd think i'd be a little bit better but no nope. uh but yeah the vibe with cold war was awesome like warzone was still popping it was just you know it was the same map as before except revamped and renewed revitalized you know are you kidding am i terrible yes but is that guy serious that's a terrible grenade terrible grenade anyways to go from that to vanguard and then MW2, everything around this, like, franchise felt really bad. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, can you just stop? You're not gonna get platinum by spamming nades down a hallway, okay? I know because I'm only at 20 out of 25 on that. But MW3 has almost revitalized the COD community in a way. Because Sledgehammer is doing what they do best, listening to the community and taking their feedback and just actually implementing it. And then Treyarch is doing what they can and taking, you know, it started with assets from uh, Warzone 3 slash whatever, I guess it's technically just called Warzone now. But taking assets from Warzone, making a map or having a map and then implementing their own features and everything right now I, I this is kind of gonna be a rant video if you guys couldn't tell but like it just everyone's doing their part except infinity ward except infinity ward oh let's go I need five more I thought that was a teammate whoops but like everyone except infinity ward is really doing their part and I feel like infinity ward is the people that are just like oh you're building off my game and like oh, it's my game yeah you can't touch it and like I, I feel like they're being kind of babies about it trying to do stuff without sledgehammer and like activision's permission and whatnot and just 
It doesn't feel like they're actually trying to listen to what the community says. So, in the wake of MW2 and the build-up for MW3's pred er, follow-up with Gulf War, that's what I meant to say, with Gulf War coming, we're in a pretty good state as the zombies community. It was not great. Okay, there we go. But we're getting content, and the least we can ask for is what we're getting, in my opinion. So, which is just something. Revamped campaign content, sure, you know, like, just, just something. Just tie, hold us over, you know? Come on, someone peek me. You gotta be kidding me, bro. But also, just in general, I've seen so many people with, like, the battle pass and stuff on this game, which means that people are buying into it as well, in my opinion. It shows me that... People are willing to still play the game, and they, they were willing to invest in it from the start, which is just kind of weird. Because, like, starting with this game, everyone's criticizing the heck out of it, in my opinion. I thought there was a lot of feedback that was very positive and negative, and I thought that everyone was kind of just trying to take it at face value for once. Because we got so screwed by, um, what... MW2 and what Vanguard did to us, like, truly just promises not kept. And with MW3, they're following through on everything, in my opinion. They're doing everything they can to try and fix what, you know, happened in the past. The trust that they lost. And it's going to be hard for people to buy back into this game. I, I think... You know, people still love Call of Duty, but, like, to gain that trust back is really going to be hard for Call of Duty. Like, very much so. And I think they're doing a good enough job right now for what they have and what they can really do with a little amount of time. You know, it felt like they got Sledgehammer, that is, to make this game. It felt like they didn't have a ton of time, and they did a good job. And the weapons they've added are really good. And Warzone 3, I haven't personally played myself. But it seems to be better than Warzone 2. And personally, with zombies, I've had a bad time today. I crashed twice and lost basically all my stuff. But, like, I think I'm an outlier. I want to hope I'm an outlier. Because if I'm not, that's not not very good. Uh, I don't got any screenshots or anything. And I truly... I, I do want to, you know, talk about the fact that I did crash twice. But I don't, I don't want that to be the overwhelming, you know, like, thought of this video. That, oh, I crashed twice, this game is terrible. Because the zombies content they added that I was trying to get to... Is the reason why I'm mad that I crashed. Because, you know, I I have such a big urge to actually play the game. I have such a want to play the game. That me crashing twice and losing my progress and stuff. It's a it's an issue because, like... What the frick? Why was I hearing jingle bells? Jingle bells. Jingle all the way. But, like, it's an issue because I, I want to play the content, man. And, you know, your average player wants to play the game. And that's something I didn't think we would have with this game. I didn't think people would want to play this game. Come on, peek me. Oh, one spawn there. They're spawning there? That's a weird... See, from, like, over here, you can spawn trap this corner of the other team. But I didn't know they'd spawn there, the other team. That's wild. Because I got, like, a six on spamming in, like, that corner I was just at. Which was wild. It was probably more, like... A 10 on, but, like, it was six, like, directly in a row, like, in spawning in my crosshair, which was just absurd. Uh, Meat is actually, like, a really good map, by the way. It, the spawns are a little terrible, and they flip really fast, but this map that they added, I, I don't know if it's original. I've never heard of it before. I've never heard some, someone saying, oh, we want Meat ba back, but, um, I mean, it's good. 
It's a small map, kind of like Shipment. I wish they would have kept Shipment in the game. But they didn't, which is unfortunate. But I'm not terribly upset about the fact that they put in meat instead. Because it's a new map, you know. New content. People want to try it out. And I'm okay with that. I might get gold here this game. That's wild. But so far... Oh, I also got to see some of the flamethrower, like, gun attachment thingy earlier today. I didn't personally play with it, but a teammate of mine had it on their gun. And uh, that thing looks fun as heck. I, I want to say that. The, the, like, bonus attachment stuff that they're adding or whatever, I can't I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, aftermarket parts. There we go. But those things are really cool. Like, the stuff they're doing with it, that is. They're just going all out, just embracing the chaos and that's what sledgehammer really does best they just create just random crap didn't quite get gold there but i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have some stuff to provide if you guys have some thoughts let me know in the comments down below and yeah hopefully as the game goes on as mw3 keeps on going it's actually you know it improves rather than i think it can definitely go the opposite way so Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to be a goat, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.